I'm Holly Peters. Welcome to Holly's Hits. This is the show where I review a board game so you can find out what's inside, how to play, and if the game is for you. Today we're going to talk about a game called Tara, Ireland's Royal Board Game. Ancient legend has it that at one time Ireland had many kings competing for the title of High King of Ireland, which was seated atop the hill of Tara. Now the power of these kings was determined by the size of their territory, so they'd have to be skilled in battle and negotiation. This is what inspired the creator, Heisman, to come up with this game. Tara is available at Barnes & Noble for $29.95, is for two players or two teams, ages 8 and up, and takes about 20 to 30 minutes to play. So let's see what's inside. The first thing you need to know about this game is that there are four games you can play all with the same pieces. So you get a rule book of the different versions, you get a quick start guide of one of the starter versions, which is the one we're going to talk about today, and you get a sturdy game board, which has a nice textured feel. And then you get all the pieces. There are these plastic tiles, red and blue, and they're called ring forts. You get some bridges and six kings and some tiles to show which version of the game you're playing. Each player starts with 23 ring forts, a king, 35 bridges, and five of your opponent's bridges. The first player takes their ring fort and places it anywhere on the board. Then you put your king in the middle to protect it. The next player takes their ring fort and places it anywhere between one or two spaces away from their opponent's king. For example, you can put it one, two, one, two, or diagonal one, two, anywhere you like within those two spaces from the king. So I'm going to put mine there and put the king to protect it. This goes on until the entire board is full of ring forts and one piece is left over. Then the battle begins. The battle stage consists of three steps. First, you take your piece and replace it on the board where your opponent's piece is, like this. Move your king into the new place and finally you get to build a bridge. Place a bridge over any two of your colored ring forts and that protects and locks in your kingdom. Then it's your opponent's turn and they do the same three steps. The winner is the player with the least number of kingdoms. So here you can see that blue has one, this large shape in the middle, two. And red has one, two, three, four kingdoms. So the winner is blue. You can also see the beautiful pattern of Celtic knots left behind. This game is said to be simple to learn but difficult to master. Now I must admit it took me about 10 or 15 minutes to learn the rules of the game and really get the hang of it. But once I did, it was really exciting. At times I felt my heart racing like I was in the heat of battle and anxiously waiting to see what my opponent would do. And I think that's one of the things that makes this game so elegant, is every move and every piece is directly related back to the theme of being in a battle, like the ancient kings of Ireland. And I, I think it, all the variations that you can play make it really interesting so you can play it over and over again. Now I did notice that the guys I played with tended to like this game a little more than the girls I played with, but I liked it. Maybe it's because I'm the one who spent the money on it, or maybe it's because this is one of the few board games my husband actually wants to play with me. But if your family likes strategy games like chess or backgammon, then this game is probably for you. I recommend Tara, the Ireland's Ireland's Royal Board Game. Thanks for watching Holly's Hits. See you next time.